So today I'm going to show you how to code BMW F series and G series, similar similar style of doing it. So I'll show you step by step. We first pair it up to the car and for F models, so you know, um, E models, I mean like E87, E18, E90, whatever it is, you won't require these. It's only for the F and the newer versions that you need all this cable. So it's using Hotel, it comes with a pack, the, well, the, 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 the diagnostic machine that I've bought. So you, what you need to do, plug this one in, and then from there, this is what you need to do. And um, the yellow wire comes with this port as well, plug into the machine. This is the black one. This is the one you need if you were using an older model, like an E model. But the F series obviously use the whole lot. And once, once it's paired, paired up, you go into programming. And then it already tells you what to do um, and what you need to do with it. But obviously I've already shown you. It's then the, come up with this, you press OK. It then comes to this and then it goes through all the modules. Um, it's a bit slow. Um, it's up to you on this one. So if you've replaced, I don't know, a BCM or a navigation unit or an, a cluster or I don't know, whatever you've changed, you can say yes. However, in this case, nothing's been changed, but we just want to kind of program and do stuff. So here you have all these options. What you've got is you've got the coding, you've got the programming coding here on this, this specific section, you can update the gearbox, the engine. So the latest software, what dealer has, you can go into it from here. So I'll show you since I'm on it. Okay. Um, so that's entirely up to you. And, and I've done it before where people have asked, I want a complete update of the whole car, which I have done. Um, that's to do with the cluster, the gearbox, the engine, the navigation. Obviously, it doesn't update the navigation, but it just puts the latest software on. I don't know what it does to it exactly, if you ask me. Um, and the update, it may be more economical. I don't know, but it's just the way dealer works. So here it is. You know, you've got complete update or you can do individual updates. Um, and what you need to remember is sometimes it doesn't go into the, these sections. So you'll have to take the Bluetooth off. Uh, you've obviously connected the bioware and just have your internet on. So the one that I'm interested in, and, and this is where you can do all the programming and coding for BMWs, you can either go into retrofit and conversions, okay, you've got like 30-40% there, or the rest is in car key memory. And on here, it's going to, in a sec, download all the modules or all the files that this car has. It's a BMW F13. It will download it via internet so i do recommend you connect it to the wi-fi not your phone because it's a heavy file otherwise you'll be there for a good 20 minutes i'd say so we'll just let that download and then i'll be Here with you shortly <clears throat> um i do recommend if you're new to the game then please do back it up because when you change a specific thing it doesn't only change one thing you will change quite a few things and it's quite difficult to pinpoint and track it down so you can back it up um for me i'm fine so if you do mess up, you can always restore. That's why it's good to back up. But I'm cool with it. So you just go into cheat coding. And this is where it's going to download the file again. Um, so it's just waiting for internet connection. So it needs to be connected. That's fair dues. Which it is, as you can see on the bottom right. And here it is. If it's Wi-Fi, it's so quick. And if it's your mobile internet, then it will, it will take a long oh, time. done it. Um, and it's just telling you, it's warning you what what the functions are, and what you need to do, etc. So yeah, so people ask me, what can you do? Well, what can't you do? To be fair, there's so many things you can do. It's unreal. But then again, people are like, oh, I want, I want my mirrors folding. When I'm sorry, but you can't have your mirrors folding if there is not an electronic m motor in there. So how do you expect it to fold? Uh, or they want like an M. Uh, like you know how you've got M3, M4. How they have got the M performance on there when you turn it on. Uh, you can't have that unfortunately if it's if it's not a, a specky car so you're limited what you can so, do <clears throat> obviously we're going to go into the warning to knock off the seat belt reminders so click on warning and then you've got here this one here as well as this so what we're going to do 
we're just going to okay inactive and then come down you've got driver front passenger reminder that's just a reminder so what that means is the tone that that tone that keeps on playing and pinging um but if you want that completely off so it's not there in your face especially when you're driving at night you've got to where did i see it? i saw it somewhere um that's it so driver seat belt status display front passenger so they need to be inactivated um that's it and this one as well okay inactivate and then if i just press okay this is what's gonna happen it's telling us it's gonna do this and i'm happy with it so now in a second it'll play with a cluster and so as you can see it's pinged up with the airbag still coding and it says successful so we'll just come out of it and in a second when we um turn it off and on it will get rid so of that as well within the warning section there's a lot more you can code it's all these well, it's up to you what you want to do so if we go into lighting there's quite a lot of features in there as well so like some people put aftermarket headlights front headlights and you can change the voltage so it doesn't you know with led instead of it being 13.4 it may be like two point i don't know whatever it is two or five or six voltage so you change it on here and then you won't keep pinging on there to to tell you you know you've you've got a bulb out also so um you can change it on here um what i tend to do with which some people like to be fair is um the fog lights is when you kind of unlock the car you've got the fog lights that come on as well as the little led bulbs on either side so here it is it's this one here and this one so you want left and right so if i click that it's telling us soft on and then if i go down to where i will here it is this is the other one okay soft on and i'll kind of see if it works in a second afterwards once i've finished okay and it's going to start coding it in and as you can see the seat belt warning light has gone now it's no longer there and it's not going to ping if you don't put your seat belt on so that's done it another interesting thing that i do is uh in the tailgate control there's a lot of amazing things you can do with it but it's these here and if you look at the reel out on that other one I mean, standard manufacturer is 100. I don't know. Um, but what I tend to do is, if I click on this, um, and it will tell you, if you want it really bright, which is a double and a half nearly, then you go to 255, which means that your rear lights, when they're on, um, not when you're braking, but just when you turn the lights on, it will be very bright. It's not going to kill anyone's eyes, but it's just going to be a nice, nice brightness, uh, I guess which can't be missed to be fair if you're on the roads um so if i move them to 255 which is the maximum we can go up okay and there are so many other things as well um yeah i, I wouldn't recommend that because just in case i mean the thing about it, if you reduce the trunk's time uh, and then just by clicking and open opening the boot it'll be a split second and god knows you might be shopping on some if you just click it it'll open so it's no good i don't recommend that that's done it um if i come back at this we've got aircon i'm not a fan of it to be fair with you um and if i you've got these are the ones parking yes you can it's like i'll show you what i mean have this vertical display or you can have the other version, okay, look, carry on, that's fair enough, horizontal. But I only recommend that if you've got, like, front and rear parking sensor. If not, it looks a bit weird. So I wouldn't have that. So door, yep, 
that's the other option that I activate for most people. It's when you're reversing. Uh, that's if you've only got the lights on the handle, which this car has. Um, they come on when you're reversing. So people know you kind of... So automatically, that's fine. There are tons of things you can do, to be fair with you. Um, in the other function, I, I know some BMs, uh, if I, for instance, as you can see, this car has only got Sport. It hasn't got a Sport Plus. Um, and if I, if I show you, look, Comfort, Eco, you won't go any further, and that's Sport. So what you can do is activate this one here, which will enable Sport Plus. Um, activate... And if we press OK, um, it plays with the car in a second. Here we go, you've got that, that's fair, dude. It's just saying you've got an issue, but that's not a problem. It's going to code it in in a second. OK, that's successful. So now, if I press OK, come out of this. And if you remember, um, if I go up, that's Comfort, that's Sport, and that's Sport Plus. So we've just added that now before it wasn't there so there are so many things you can add on um, so let's turn it on I know it's saying you've got an issue but that's not a problem that at the end what you do is when you come out of this it codes everything in and it will get rid of that as well so now even if I go into Eco Pro and turn the traction off on it's gonna stay there so what I do, ignore that until the last yeah, minute. The wind, windscreen wipers, there's not not a lot in here as well, as you can see, it's only like five of them. Um, I just keep it, leave it the same. There's no point filling with that. Your cruise control, yes. I mean, you can turn it into a, you can put a paddle shift steering on, that's not a problem. And then you can activate it here as long as the FRM over there has got the pin in at number seven, I think it is, if I'm not wrong. Um, and then it'll work. Uh, so you'll be fine with that. Um, here it is. This car is not obviously panel shift, so you'll just get your basic stuff. It is like, it's got a limiter um, as well as cruise control, so these are all on here. Um, AC, if you just wanna have a look, there's only a few options. Um, navigation system, I, have, I do a lot of that as well, um, which is quite good, I'll be honest. Um, it adds in like so for instance let me let me come out of this and if I go into navigation you see I mean if we just type in I don't know let's just start guidance okay let's go there we are so now it's just showing as you can see 9.1 miles and at a time what, what I tend to do is add another feature which kind of cuts this screen it doesn't cut it fully you can always get rid if you want but it kind of gives you an arrow so when you're when you're at a junction it just kind of arrows left or arrows right um with a bit more detail and that's all in here which i'm going to show there you there is uh, that's it split screen guiding pop-up so it's inactivated so we need to do activate it okay okay yeah if you remember i said when you come out of it and come out of the cheat codes it will then do a hard reset and start coding in everything that you've done properly and if you remember the traction control light like we're on and if i go through on sport on sport plus you can see that everything's fine and nothing's pinging up and um if i go on the vehicle information there shouldn't be any like faults really yeah it's come back no faults and that's how you kind of do the cheat codes really um uh, however on the retrofit conversions there are similar things um these are the things you can do on the retrofit so you know um here we go you can you can do the you know deactivate the driver's seat belt warning light they're just a quick you know quick if you want to go into it quickly and just come out of it but the cheat code takes a bit of time and downloads quite a heavy file um there's all this as well Change the oil quality if you wanted to. There's quite a few things. These are all the languages you can add. That's 
Another so, so. feature that I added I didn't record earlier, let me just shut this door one second, is this here. It's, uh, it tells you in digits really what, what speed you're doing. You don't need it, but sometimes it's just fun to have something extra on your dash. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can even add the, the temperature as well on here. Um, but that will not work if it's not got a sensor in there. Uh, doesn't matter how hard you try, it won't work. But yeah.